Sounds so weird. You're Scarada. Today I'll be present the Alpha Yoros cookie. Yeah. It's Argentinian yes. cookies. Yeah. So inside this caramel sauce topped with coconut as you can see. Yes. But I'm also going to present Keith Herring. He's a big legend. I'll tell you how he became a big man. So, this whole history about him, the biography, you can read. He was born on May 4, 1958, reading Pennsylvania. So, dear Americans, as you can see, an influential artist, a modern art, yes, was accessible for the big public. So let's try this cookie and I'll scroll more down to show you guys yeah. what we are talking about. And you say he was born in Reading. Is it not Reading? Like Reading Terminal Market in Philly? Maybe it's Reading. Maybe. What you You know, the football is Reading. It's called Reading, but you spell it like Reading. Maybe it's the same. Because it's also Pennsylvania, maybe, I don't know. You can tell us. Tell okay. Okay, Back. let's try the cookie. What's your, what, what's your uh, opinion of the cookie? Yeah, the cookie, okay. yes. It's good, but let's talk about Herring. So his school background. He graduated from high school in 1976. He was um, studying at the school of professional art in Pittsburgh, a commercial art school. Because he also he wanted to be a, a commercial uh, graphic artist, but after that he, he dropped out. So I dropped, he was a dropout from the commercial art school. So and after that he was going to study further and work on his own. But he later moved on to New York and studied at the School of Visual Arts in New York. So go to school. So he, he, he actually had a long way to find a passion. You know, even he was a dropout, but he didn't give up. friends, he found friends, fellow artists, okay, Kenny Sharp, John Mitchell, but he also was influenced by different artists. Yeah, to become better, you will always look at the art of other work, of other artists to be inspired. Yes, to become better. Very good, Aaron, very smart man. But he also did some public art, yeah, in the subway, draw a lot of things. Guys, 
also important thing is, of course, he became famous. Yeah, did a lot of projects, but to the world, international recognition. And make his art, of course, accessible to everyone. Yes, I'll show you an example of his art. But uh, sadly, that didn't begin all because he was 31 when he passed away. Yeah, very sad. It's very too, too young. young. Too young. Let's draw work. Let's see his work. Art 1978. Here's a lot of drawings. Oh, wow. But I, I won't zoom in. But some points, some are nice. Very simple, but it took him a lot of time to bring his message through his art. Just this, look at this. I see 1982, 1983. Wow, this is a big cookie. It's very thick. Yeah. Thick, big cookie. This is really cool. This twisted yeah. human probably is a poster from a uh, this is a festival poster. The jazz. Yeah. Montreux, nineteen eighty-three. Let's look at uh, nineteen eighty-four art. I see some pictures. Skip it. Yeah. Nineteen eighty-five. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know if YouTube allows it. So. Yeah. Some art is just he can express his emotions, but also I like it. You know, I'm very mm, I love expressive art. 1985, 1986. Oh, this is nice one. Oh yeah, liberty. Liberty art. This is beautiful. I love art. And it's really cool. Andy Mouse. Oh. With Andy Warhol. It says he's, he was very inspired, I think, by Andy Warhol. Or was he a friend? I don't know. And he turned Andy Mouse into a Mickey Mouse, Andy Mouse from the portfolio, Andy Mouse, Andy Warhol. <laughs> turned Andy Warhol into Andy Mouse. Funny. True friend. This is like... This art. I is explaining what this art about. In 1987, Keith Haring created five unique digital toys created on Amiga computer. 
Much like his friend and mentor Andy Warhol, Cave Heron was an early admirer and adult of the digital age. So he was. Oh, the first Apple Macintosh computer. Yeah. Right. That's why I said the first. This, this is the big thing. The first Apple Macintosh computer is very nice. He was very technical. Yeah, he began. He also began uh, with. Uh, Nice. Keeping with his signature style of bold lines and pop color, herrings and mega drawings show the artist's early interest in formal and medium. It has since become part of his commercial design. 21st century digital art. 1987 digital art. So he was like already doing it. Digital art. Like in 2024, digital art is just like. Well, Keith Haring already started with it. So he was already, already early starting with this. Yeah, 1987. Nice. I uh, see more art. I would say, click on this. National coming out day of National Gay Rights Advocates. Cool, this is really cool. So he kicking the door. Like, here I am. Not, it's really cool. Are you hungry? No. It's very thick. No. You, are you hungry? Yeah. Really? I'm going to eat. Okay. I will finish this cooking. I'm not on a diet. Yeah, but I'm a little bit. Uh, I got enough food for today. Milk consume more calories than woman. It's a fact, you know, because we also can burn more calories. But the intake is much different. Look at this. Pop shop. Oh, it was his pop shop. He the pop shop. He always sell different items. I was forget to tell you. Posters, stickers, buttons. He also saw this. Based on all the image creators for the public. Really cool. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing more. Let me. 1989. I see a lot. <laughs> Guys, I see a lot, but. I think this is okay. Yeah, beautiful. Mm. Oh. Don't go to ninety ninety. As you see, it's a dog, but it's also very more than how he draws a Superman. Cool. I think he wants to express the freedom of the humankind. That's why he draw this one because. He was carrying a social message about human, human in this world. Nice. Another one. Yellow. Yellow version. Orange baby. 
Included in the essay, The Radiant Christ Child by Natalie E. Phillips. Radiant Baby from Icon Siri, 1990. Mm. Yeah, cool. It's beautiful. 1990. Mm hmm. Yeah. The sort of sculptures. I see. Look at this. All the patterns still over there. Yeah, it's all patterns over the whole the whole body, yeah. body of this sculpture. Yeah. So public projects. Yeah, the walls. Uh, street art. It is also street art. Very famous. So it's also this one on the side. Oh, Berlin. The request of the Checkpoint Charlie Museum. The mural was approximately 300 meters in length, depicting an individual in colors of the German flag, yellow, red, and black, symbolizing the quest for unity between the Federal Republic of Germany West and the German Democratic Republic East. The mural was covered over time by the work of other artists prior to the construction of the wall in 1991. Okay. But our visit of the Keith Herring, we have also visited one of the exposition of the Keith Herring, that was in Rotterdam. It's also art. Yeah, I think we have some pictures of that. Yeah, it's very beautiful. I, my memory is there was one of the arts, what I think it was beautiful was the seal of how do you say the blue seal of with the artwork on it made of recycled materials oh yeah i did a lot of with unusual art made art of everything so yeah and also i remember there was a triangle i think with some silver cartoon pop art figures with some Pink, I think. I'm not sure anymore. And white. Yeah, some pink and white. And silver. Yeah. I think the, the figures were silver colored. Cool. the wheel dolphin, the bone puppy. Mother of child, human freedom. And a lot of human yeah. who Animals. just takes different position in society. Love letter, people who got swallowed by the... Oh, it's on the church. Yes. Painted on exterior wall of the church of St. Antonio. It was executed at the request of the city of Pisa and still exists. Oh, Pisa. Yeah, Pisa. Guys, it was a pleasure to show you the information and artwork of this Keith Herring Foundation. Yes. So, but it was also an honor to share this cookie. Yeah. Yes. So, for the first time, I think. Yeah. For the first time, it was good. Yeah, it's but uh, sweet, but uh, heavy. Heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And a little bit uh, crumbling. Messy, <laughs> you see. It was not the best i have tried maybe because i uh, we made it this at home yeah it's from a package so from maybe. a package yes yeah. i think the fresh ones will be much better if maybe. it will be better if it's not from the package like if you make the fresh caramel sauce it i think it would be much better and yes we must uh, try another time from another place the Real Argentina Alpha Eurus, but this was our first attempt. Okay, guys, bye bye. bye, -bye.